What's going on guys, Gamer here, and I'm here today to show you guys how to make a Minecraft 1.14 server in the fastest way possible. So the first thing you're going to want to do is right click wherever you want, and go to new and folder, and then name it whatever you want your server to be. So uh, I'm just going to name it server. Then you're going to want to open up a browser, so I'm using Google Chrome. Um, then you're going to go to Minecraft.net, click this menu button up here, and go down to trial and download. Um, you're going to scroll down a little bit, and it'll say download Minecraft Java Edition server software, and you're going to press get it here. So, first of all, click this minecraft.jar um, thing, and it'll start downloading in the bottom left here in a second. And then what you also want to do is copy this code. So, highlight it, press Control-C, or you can right-click and press Copy. You'll have that code copied. And then down here, once it's finished downloading, it'll say Keep. You can't really see it very well. I'm not sure why. All right, so after this is finished downloading, after you press Keep, you're going to want to drag it. Click and drag it into the folder that you have, and you can close Google for now. And then you open this folder and uh, right click in inside of it and go to new and text document you don't have to name this anything just open it and then you're gonna paste this command that you copied in there you can use control V or you can right click and say paste um, I would make for simplicity sake I would just take off this 1.14 um, and just have it be minecraft under dash server dot jar and then go to file save as and then you're gonna type in run r u n dot b a t press save you can close that out and you can delete the text document. Um, then you have this .bat folder right here and then you're going to want to rename this whatever was in the code. So I said to delete the 1.14 you're going to just name it Minecraft under dash server and um, that should be exactly what you have in here. See it says Minecraft under dash server so whatever's before the .jar is what you need to put in right there. Um, double click on run and it should pop up a little window and do some stuff and then it should generate some folders. So here's the folders. You're going to want to double click on the eula.txt and change the false to true. Control S to save and you can close that out. And um, then you double click run.bat again. So this window is going to pop up again. It'll do some stuff and um, it'll actually be creating your server right now. If this doesn't stay popped up for you, then that means you either need to re-download Java, which I have a link for um, someone else's video in the description. You can check that out, and that's how you re-download Java. Um, so you either need to do that, or there's some other ways to do it, but just let me know in the comments below, and I will try to help you through it if it doesn't work for you. So after this says done, you're going to type in slash stop. Enter, and then it'll close this little window. All right, so you have your server right here. This is everything you need. You can close this out for now. Just make sure you know where this um, server folder is. Go down to the window, Windows button and type in um, CMD. Press Enter, and it'll pop up this command prompt. So type in ipconfig with no spaces, and it should pop up this window. Um, your default gateway, get the smaller one that starts with 192.168. Press Control-C to copy it and open your browser again. Paste that into the browser, which right click, paste, or control V, and it should take you to your um, your router's homepage. And this part of the video is different for everyone, so this will not work for everyone. If you have this specific router, then it will work, but if not, then you're going to have to probably go to a different video, and I can also show you another way you can do it here in a little bit. So um, go to somewhere, it should say customize firewall or firewall or something like that, and then... Um, you should have to add a new application. So, okay, I'm in Applications, Pinholes, and DMZ. So I'm going to scroll down, and I need to edit the firewall settings of this computer. So I'm going to add a new user-defined application because Minecraft is not in here. I'm going to call it Minecraft. I'm going to click UD, uh, TCP. If it gives you an option for TCP slash UDP, pick that because we're going to have to go through this process twice if it doesn't. Port arrange from 25565 to 25565. That is not that 25565. And then um, you can leave these blank and app application type you can leave blank too. Then you click add to list and then your access code should be on your router and press submit. Um, I've already done it, so I don't need to do it again. I'm just going to do the same thing, but for UDP. I'm going to click UDP 25565 to 25565 and play, click Add to List again. And that should be it. So after you do that, open a new tab and search Port Checker. So um, go to this, like any Port Checker tool. I'm going to go to this one. And it should have your IP address in here. So copy this IP address because this is what you're going to give to your friends to join the server. Um, 
to check if it's working or not and port number it will um just type in 25565 and if this says um if it says open then that means your port is open if it doesn't then it um says your port is closed mine should be mine should be closed right now yeah it's closed so it will say open if um if it did work for you and that's pretty much it um there's also another site you can go to uh, click on the link in the description and it should take you to this site um, and you just need to find your router in here and it'll give you specific instructions on how to port forward for your specific router. So it kind of just, it's a really nice resource for that. And okay, click your model number and then it'll just go through all this and you can, it'll show you how to add applications. You just need to put in two, five, five, six, five for all the port, um, options. Anyway, after you've done that, you can just run your server, open Minecraft and give that IP that I told you to your friends and it should work. So if you guys did enjoy this video, be sure to hit that like button down below and also subscribe to my channel. If you are new, if you have any questions or something didn't work for you, be sure to let me know in the comments below and I will try my best to help you out. Anyways, I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.